Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content on the channel. And uh, make sure to check me out on Twitch. All right, let's begin. Hey guys, and welcome to our champion breakdown. Today we are going to be doing Spider-Man Stealth Suit. So the very first thing we're gonna take a look at is normally the signature ability just kind of going from top to bottom. So Spider-Man Stealth Suit's signature ability will increase the critical damage that he does anywhere from 10 to 40% based on the SIG level. Now this is our five star and we do not have him awakened yet, but we do have it as a four star that is awakened. Um, but yeah, the range I believe on that is gonna be 10 to 40%. Um, to increase the furies, sorry, the fury damage, excuse me. Um, Spider-Man, though, under the passives, is going to get a 1300 critical rating versus Sinister Six and Symbiote Champions. And there's actually seven of those in this game. Um, it's going to be Dr. Ock, Electro, Green Goblin, Norman Osborn as Iron Patriot, Mysterio, Rhino, and Vulture, as well as the Symbiote Champions, which are pretty easily identified by the uh, Venom or Carnage uh, suits on the various characters. Um, the other thing that is going to happen, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, is the web cartridge debuffs. Now, Spider-Man is going to get five of those, and they are going to be used... <clears throat> Every time he does a fourth light attack or his special two, which will use two cartridges. And those will apply various effects by means of his pre-fight ability. So um, the other thing to note, and this is really only gonna happen sometimes on his light attacks, Spider-Man uses his web shooters at point blank range for his basic attacks and they're not going to make contacts. The next section is the spider sense. Now, when it comes to dodging and evading, um, this Spider-Man gets one with a 70% chance while he is not blocking and not special related. So it's only basic attacks. And uh, I've used this before and got punched in the face afterwards. So if you're not quick, an enemy could attack you, it auto dodges and you still get punched in the face if you're not quick enough. So, uh, and then that's going to go on a cooldown for 25 seconds, unless you are going to be doing special ones, which if you run special ones, that is a way to use this Spider-Man, but it's just, it's not that great of a dodge when you consider that it only works with basic attacks. So it's not something that I personally rely on, but at least it doesn't have the uh, kind of weird dodge behavior that uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, Miles Morales, um, and uh, regular Spider-Man have. The other thing is that uh, when he does get the Fury, which is going to be by doing the web cartridge attack uh, and then doing it again to remove the previous debuff and add a new debuff, it's going to give him a Fury. That Fury is going to be paused or precision uh, for about four seconds if you are dodging. So you can keep up the Fury a lot. All right, the next section is going to be about the pre-fight ability. Now he's going to get five web cartridges in any one of these sections. If you do not choose any of them, it's going to default to the third, which is the flashbang. So the first section is going to be tranquilizer, second web foam, and the third flashbang. And again, he's going to expend those every fourth light attack or the special attack two, which will utilize two of those. He's going to get one of those persistent charges, but it comes back at the end of every fight. So you can continually use them if you so desire. So the first one, Tranquilizer, is a 100% chance to apply the buff Enervate, preventing the opponent from gaining power. So some minor power control on that one. The second one, which I consider probably the most useful, is going to stop unstoppable and evade effects while it is active for 12 seconds, unless they are at the advantage, which is a mutant class, uh, which they are not going to be able to be slowed. And uh, if the opponent is a slowed Spider-Man, cannot miss, which is really nice and works on uh, Mordo as well with his uh, Astral Evade. The third one is just going to be our Brawler and it is going to be Flashbang, which is going to inflict that vulnerability debuff when attacking the 
uh, opponent under that debuff, it's going to increase the critical rating, which means he's going to crit more often um, at a 1096 and also decrease that block proficiency. So it just kind of adds to that brawler mentality. So really power control or minor power control, um, some utility with web foam, um, which is going to be very useful in very specific fights and the uh, flashbang, which is just gonna be our kind of everyday brawler. So the first one is going to reactivate Spider Sense if it is on cooldown, which it has a 25 second uh, cooldown, if you remember. And uh, if it was not on a cooldown, it gains that precision passive. The second one is going to expend two cartridges, but the debuff that is applied is going to almost have three times its duration. Um, and uh, the duration lasts until the web cartridge debuff expires. Debuffs that are replaced do not count as having expired. And the third one is going to give us back those five web cartridges to uh, kind of go back through it again. So overall, it depends again on uh, what kind of the match is going, but it looks like you're going to be doing the four light combo, apply a debuff, whether it's uh, critical, whether it's power control, um, or if you're going to be using that utility on the unstoppable and evade and kind of rinse and repeat specials two and three I don't see a lot of use for special one to be honest with you um, Maybe the precision passive would be useful in some circumstances But you already have so much going on here with critical rating as it is the last section that we're really looking at here is going to be the synergies, and each of these synergies are going to be representative of one of the pre-fight abilities, and none of them, to my knowledge, as far as I can tell, are gonna be game-changing, other than, again, the utility. So when it comes to having Iron Man Infinity War, you're gonna be slowing opponents when using that pre-fight ability. We'll also essentially negate shock and incinerate effects now if they already are applied to you it's not going to do that but the opponent's ability accuracy of those to apply those to you in the future will be non-existent but you're still going to have to punch them four times to apply it at least once and then you're also going to only have five combos if you're not going to be stopping at a three or throwing in a medium or something like that the second one is going to give us a slight bonus with the, uh, the our dodge ability with our spider sense. The 100% evade ability accuracy against unblockable attacks while the opponent has a vulnerability debuff. Oh, actually, sorry, that is not spider sense. That's just while he has the vulnerability debuff. So I can actually see that being useful as well, maybe on the uh, last 25% of uh, those nodes that I'm spacing hard the node that they uh, become unblockable at the last 25% percent. Um, and yeah, doesn't want to control um, okay so the next one is going to be bad for business which is vultures and this one is a little bit of an odd duck to me it doesn't look like it's adding an extra 10% as energy damage it looks like you're doing 90% as physical 10% as energy but the same amount of damage overall because um, it just says 10% of the damage is dealt as energy damage but even if it was applied on top of 10% is really not that big uh, when it comes to overall and uh, completely uh, let me know in the comments below if I am incorrect in any way about that um, it just does not seem very useful to me um, the last one is going to be culture shock it's going to increase the potency of fury and precision effects that trigger while spider sense is active hmm I could kind of see that going pretty well but again, 15% overall when you consider some of the synergies out there is kind of just a minor buff when it comes to that. So take it or leave it on those kind of things. Um, but yeah, that is Stealth Spider-Man. So let's cut to some of the clips. All right, so the last section of this video is going to be about the pre-fight abilities 
Um, so there's going to be three, one for each. This video is going to be about the flashbang and about the average damage that we are seeing without any synergies, without any suicides. Uh, this will also demonstrate kind of the cycle that we're using for him and the general usage uh, up till now. So we begin with the five. So we're going to have to hit him with four light attacks. We just applied it. So now our critical rating is going up right now. We just hit him with a second one, which removes the first and applies that fury. It also paused our fury when we just dodged. So you see it going back down now. And now with that, we just reapplied it. Our fury is back up. It only gives us the one fury on here. So what you saw there was our special two, which should have given us a 300% or 250% uh, bonus on duration for those debuffs. But I, since it does shoot two and we are empty now, so. You notice that our, no, that was not the spider sense. So now we're probably a little bit nerfed trying to get back up to our special three before our uh, flashbang wears off. And we are not, not helpless, but uh, he's heavily, he's heavily nerfed in this state. This is not where you want to be when it comes to this. That's really the basics of the flashbang. It's, just an all-out brawler, you're applying your uh, critical rating debuff, your flashbang debuff. I'm trying to get as many hits as possible to increase your power so that you can keep those coming. Uh, increasing your furies, I guess I can kind of see where the signature comes in and it, it'll increase uh, your fury potency by up to 40%. Uh, but overall, again, um, the damage is not really the uh, primary role when it comes to this. It's going to be the utility for the dodge, uh, for the unstoppable. Those are really going to come in handy in those, those specific fights. So he may be kind of a selective champion, but yeah, I mean, overall, that is the uh, flashbang. All right, so our second section is going to be around the Tranquilizer pre-fight ability, which is going to give us a some of our minor <laughs> power control. Now, again, this is not going to stop uh, champions from gaining power uh, through other means other than being uh, in battle, such as Hyperion's power gain. So that's something to consider when utilizing this champion. It's not going to stop that. So as you can see, every fourth hit, just like before, it's going to apply that Tranquilizer debuff this time and going to stop the power gain from our hits. And uh, we should be able to make it pretty far, but we're running out of it. So now we are out. So what happens after that, uh, which we actually got to our special three before they got to their special one, which is not, I mean, that's not bad, right? So you could keep somebody at their special one. Again, if they don't have power gain, if you can be very, very aggressive as well. The other thing again is that if we can hit our special two, it would increase um, the duration of this by almost three times, but it does utilize two of the web cartridges and then we also have to get up that far. So, I mean, overall, I mean, that is Stealth Spider-Man with his tranquilizer. Last, but certainly not least, is the web foam, which will stop evade and unstoppable champions. So here we have a video from one of my live streams where I was testing out uh, Stealth Spider-Man um, just for fun. I'm trying to do a four-star gameplay video. Um, but I just thought that this one right here was one of the uh, best examples that I had of that uh, <laughs> nullifying evade, which is just such a problem uh, when it comes to Mordo. So maybe you don't have very many issues with Mordo. I think he is a very, very annoying champion to fight against. But as you can see, uh, no more evade for Mordo. 
now that he is under that. And it actually lasts quite a while and showcases that he can take down stuff that is much more above his PI. Now I know that there are those that can take on much, much bigger than this, but I still find this extremely um, impressive when it comes to uh, that ability. So if you have a Mordo in your life that you wanna try and get rid of. Now the only thing is, you're gonna to have to intercept and get past his uh, shield, his blocking first, as you have to apply the debuff before it uh, takes effect. So that right there, <laughs> let him finish his flip, is Stealth Suit Spider-Man. Um, not a utility god, not a damage god, but kind of a uh, jack of all trades, if I had to say that. So he can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and in certain, circ certain circumstances, he is gonna save your butt. He is a lot of fun to play as, so if you got him out of a five-star crystal, I wanna say congrats, because I really like him. He's a lot of fun to play with. But uh, if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, shout outs, expletives, put them in the comments below. Thank you so much, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll see you guys again on the uh, live stream. Have a good night, or day or morning or whatever.